today what we're doing is we're, we're hiking up the ampersand mountain trailhead and we're looking at both impacts along the trail but what we're adding to that is uh, just comparing what the forest is like directly around the trail versus what the forest is like 100 feet off the trail to see how, how that that changes both the, the structure of the tree and that may or may not change our perception of of the recreational users of this site. And what's cool about the ampersand trailhead is that uh, it passes through this area of old growth temperate northern hardwood forests. This includes trees like the sugar maple, which is a big tree, and, and uh, eastern hemlock and yellow birch. And it's really a great example of old growth forests in eastern United States. Really, it's one of the finest examples of old growth of an old growth temperate northern hardwood forest in the world. You know, we're, we're mixing this, uh, like a strict plant ecology, community ecology study with this recreational dynamics to try to get an idea of how to approach this really complicated problem of, of recreational overuse in the high peaks.